Hey guys, today I'm going to be opening and reviewing some food sets from American Girl. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. Be sure to click on the subscribe button down below and the notification bell in the corner to be notified every time I upload a new video. I did just want to say a huge thank you to American Girl for gifting me these sets so I'm able to open and review them on my channel. This video is a shopper's gift guide so shoppers can determine whether or not they'd like to purchase these products. So let's go ahead and open and review the first food set. It is from Courtney Moore's collection and Courtney is a historical character from American Girl. So the first item we have here is Courtney's Pac-Man lunch set. It retails for $25. We have a photo here on the front of the box. We have a Pac-Man themed lunch box with multiple different food items too. Let's take a look at some of the food items as part of the set. So first off, we have a classic sandwich. So it seems to be some sort of meat and cheese and it comes in two slices. And when you put them together, it forms a completed sandwich. And then as for the dessert item part of the lunch, we have a brownie and there are sprinkles on the top and it comes in this plastic packet. Up next, we have some cheese puffs. So the cheese puff is over here and you can see all the pieces are connected as one large cheese puff. And then we also have the container as well. It says the name on the front with a picture of cheese and in case if you're wondering, it's made out of a lightweight plastic material. There is a lid as well, so you can add the item inside and you can close it and then you can add it to the lunchbox. Up next, there's some apples. There's a total of three slices, but they're all connected together as one large piece. And then here we have an insulated container. This has to be my favorite item besides the lunchbox itself. It has a Pac-Man design over at the front and it's yellow to match the lunchbox too. You can open up and remove the cup over at the top and then you can add it back again like so. In order to store away the food and the snacks, the set does come with a lunchbox. It's bright yellow to match the Pac-Man theme. There's a Pac-Man image over at the front and it matches the one that's on the insulated container as well. This is definitely made out of a plastic material. It's very lightweight and there's a clip at the front so you can close it and then you can open it again. There is a handle which lifts up and you can also place it back down too. You can open it up so you can add the items inside and it seems to be quite large so I'm going to add the items to see how much fits. So everything does seem to fit into the lunchbox besides the insulated container itself. We have the sandwich at the bottom with the apples on top, the cheese puffs over to the side, and the brownies just standing up. And then when you close it, it does click shut so it will stay and none of the items will fall out. But this set is so lovely. It definitely suits Courtney because she loves the game Pac-Man. So I think that ties in perfectly with her character. And it also comes with some really great food items too. So let's move right along to the next set. This item is called the Chinese Takeout Set. There's a photo on the front of the box to give an overview of the item. So let's open it up. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the food items a part of the set. The first item here is a serving of white rice and the second set here is sesame chicken. The sesame is on the top and this is what the back looks like. There's also a serving of noodles and there's a total of two and they're identical. So there are some vegetables on the top, there's broccoli and then the noodles are on the bottom. The back is completely flat so it's able to sit up on a plate or in the takeout box. One of the best features of the set would definitely have to be the fortune cookies. There's a plastic container that says fortune cookies at the front that hold it in place and this section does open so you can remove them. You can take the item out and there's a total of three. There are a total of three fortune cookies in the set but they can be separated into two different compartments. So each half cookie is connected to a whole cookie and you can connect them back together and you can open them up again. So here's what it looks like connected and then you can remove it so you can add the paper fortunes inside which makes it really realistic. There's a total of five paper fortunes. On one side it has a quote or a fortune and then on the other side it has some lucky numbers. There are two cans of sparkling water in the set. There's a blue and white polka dot design on the front and it says sparkling water and there's a star on the design too. In order to store the food, there are two takeout containers and they're styled exactly the same. It says thank you on the top and it just says delicious delivery Chinese fine cuisine and it looks like the paper fortune's coming out of the fortune cookie. And it says American Girl on the bottom as well, as I said before, they're exactly the same on both sides. They're made out of a paper material and they're very lightweight and they do open and close so you're able to store the food away. So let's open up this box here and we can store the sesame chicken and the rice in this box. I'll add the rice on the bottom with the chicken. And then in the other box, I'll add the noodles. And they do seem to fit both items as well, which is a really great addition too. So here's the noodles. 
There are a total of two sets of chopsticks and there are clear handles on each one so the dolls can hold on to them. There is a small paper menu included in the set. It's a gorgeous purple color and it says delicious delivery Chinese to match the box itself and it has the same design, fine cuisine. And then there's a chopstick design at the bottom. If we open it up, it gives an overview of the menu. There's different sections. The top section is seafood, there's vegetables, there's combo platters. There's also some house specials, sides, and it says every order comes with fortune cookies. And on the back, there's a fortune cookie design as well. And the last item part of the set is the takeout bag, so you're able to store the containers that I showed earlier. It has a design on the front to match the rest of the set, and here's the back. It's made out of a paper plastic material, and it's very lightweight. There's Velcro, so it opens and closes, and it just opens up like a bag. And overall, the Chinese takeout set definitely comes with some great food items, and it's a wonderful addition to the Truly Me line. And the next set we'll be taking a look at is the spaghetti dinner set. There's an image on the front of the box to give an overview of what's included. It comes with multiple food items. There's also some drinks as well and some accessories too. So let's open it up. So now that I've unwrapped all the packaging, let's take a look at the first two items. So here we have some plates. They're quite large, so you're able to display the salad, the pasta, and the bread as well. So I do have the pasta here. I'll just place it in the middle. And there's a total of three, so you can have one in the pot as well. And it's just classic spaghetti and meatballs. A great addition to pasta or spaghetti is, of course, a side of salad. There's a total of two in the set, and there's lettuce and some tomatoes on the top. The set also does come with some garlic bread as well. There's a total of two pieces and they're identical on both sides. Spaghetti wouldn't be complete without some cheese. There's a wedge of Parmesan cheese. It's made out of plastic material like a lot of the other food items in the set. And then what makes the set really heavy is the cheese grater because it's actually made out of metal. It does look very realistic, but it is a very heavy set. And here we have the next set of items. There are two forks and two napkins, and these open up, and they're just plain white. The set also does come with a serving spoon for the spaghetti. It's a red color, and it's a very lightweight plastic material. There's a star design on the bottom there, and there's also a small hook at the top. If you do have the Gourmet Kitchen set, you can hang that on one of the hooks. And then there's also a Dutch oven as well. That's what they call it on the packaging. It's a teal color, and then there's also a lid on the top as well. You can open and close it, and you can add the spaghetti inside too. This set wouldn't be complete without some drinks. There's sparkling water, and there's a lemon wedge inside. There's also a straw too, and it has some pink stripes. Even though the plate does seem to be quite large, it comfortably fits all of the food items, the spaghetti, the salad, and the garlic bread as well. And I just have a small setup with the fork, the napkin, and the drink here too. Here we have the tea time table and chair set. It is a part of the Truly Me line. It comes with a table, two chairs, and multiple different food items, perfect for tea time. Let's go ahead and take a look at the table first before we set up all of the different accessories. It's a gorgeous teal blue color and there's some detail on the bottom of the table. The top part of the table rotates and this section is very heavy so it should be able to stay in place when you set up all of the different items. So now it's time to set up the table with all of the different accessories. The first item I have here is the table runner and it fits perfectly across the table. You can have it this way or over this way. I'm going to be placing it like so and I really love the floral print around it. It matches the cushions on the chair. And a tea time set wouldn't be complete without a two-tiered platter to display all of the different treats. So I've just added that on top of the table runner. There's a white plate on the top and then there's a light blue one underneath. And I love how the handle is a bronze color. It's so pretty. And in case if you're wondering, it is made out of a plastic material. And let's add some of the food items to the platter. So there's a total of six macarons, but they're in groups of three, so there are two sets. The first one here has a purple one, a peach one, and a yellow one, and that can go over on this side. And then over on the other side, there is a green one, a blue one, and then a peach one again, and that one can go on the other side. And I'll also be adding some food to the bottoms here as well. First off, we have a tart, and this one looks so delicious. There's powdered sugar on the top, there are some berries, and then this is what it looks like on the bottom. That one can go over there. And then over on the other side, we have a sandwich, and it's crustless, and it's cut diagonal too. And that one can go over on this side. I've just placed down the placemats, and they're made out of a paper material, so they can easily bend. You do have to be careful about that, but I love the detail of the flower design added to the front, so I'm just going to place them like so. And then it's time to add the plates down. They're made out of plastic material. 
and I love how they're light pink as well. It matches the floral design. And then here we have a food item, so I'll add the sandwich over here. And then over on this side, I'll do exactly the same. I'll add the plate down, and then I'll add the tart over on this side. And now it's time to add the teacups, of course. It's one of the main features of the set. So first off, we have the saucers, and this is what they sit on. So they're a gorgeous teal blue color to match the placemat over here. And I love how the rim is bronze to match that two-tiered set over there. So I'll place both of the cups like so. And then here we have the cups itself. They're so gorgeous. I just love all of the bronze detail. There's a lovely flower design with some bees on the front as well. So that cup can go over there and this cup can go over on the other side. Just to make it a little bit more even, I'm going to rotate the cup around so it's facing the same way as this cup over here. Let me add the napkins down, and they're really lovely. They're completely plain, but there is a small graphic design of a flower over in the corner, and that's on both of the napkins. And the final addition that I have here is, of course, the chairs. I've added one already on the other side, but I need to add this one over here. It matches the table itself, and then the table runner, as I said before, matches the cushion as well. You can see more details on the cushion. There are different types of flowers in green and peach, and then there's ties on the back as well that are removable, so you can choose to have the cushions or not. And I think these chairs are so lovely. They're very heavy as well, like the table, so they should be able to stay in place. Overall, the set is so lovely. There's so much detail to the set and it's perfect for tea time. I especially love the detail in all the smaller accessories and the table and chair are amazing quality too. This set here is called Joss's Beach Grill. It is an interactive set from Joss Kendrick's collection and she was the girl of the year for 2020. The first item we'll be taking a look at is the grill. It's the main feature of the set and what I love about this item is that it's so interactive. So first off, in case if you're wondering, it is made out of plastic material. It's a gorgeous red color. We have the American Girl star in the middle. But the reason why the set is interactive is because it looks like it cooks the food. It has a light that switches on and it makes it look like the grill is real, which is so awesome. It's so much like the kitchen set that they just recently released as well. In case if you're wondering, you can remove the grill on the top. And then we also have these. So these turn. And there's also a button on the side too. There are two different ways you can style the grill. There's a stand attached to the bottom of it so you can have it laying down like so, which is really great for storage, or else you can open up the legs and they open up on either side. So you have one side and then the other side, and then you can stand it up. What I like about the grill is that there are also attachments you can add to the side of it, so you can add the drinks and the plates to it by not placing it directly on the grill itself. So I've already added it onto one side, and I just need to add it over onto the other side so it comes separate, and there's a clip so it easily stays like so. The set comes with two drinks and two plates. I've already added a plate and a drink on one side, and I'll add it over onto the other side as well. So the plates are exactly the same. You can see it's very brightly colored and it suits Joss's collection as well. And it has a striped design on it. And then the other item is a drink and it looks like some sort of lemonade or a soft drink and there's a pink straw as well. So now it's time to go ahead and take a look at the food items a part of the set. There's a total of six pieces. And there are two items of each option. So the first two items I'll be showing you are corn on the cobs, and there's a total of two of those. They look identical. I'll be adding one of the food items on the grill itself and the other one over to the side so we can see the difference as to what it looks like before you add it to the grill and after. And the next set of food items that I have here are some tamales. There's a total of two, and you can see that they're connected together. So I've added one onto the grill and the other one over to the side. And the last two items that we have here are kebabs, and there's different food items within the kebab to make it look as realistic as possible. So I'm going to place one over to the side, and then I'm going to be adding the other one onto the grill. And I just might move the kebab over to the side just so I can close the lid. I have already added the batteries to the set, so we're going to try it out to see if it works. So now it's time to try out the feature. All I need to do is close the lid, and you can see the light starts to switch on as you close the lid. So you don't need to do anything, and I'm going to leave it for around 20 seconds to see how much it changes. It has been roughly around 20 seconds, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the grill lid up so we can see if it works. And you can definitely see that it has changed quite a bit with each of the set, and it makes it look like it has been in a grill. I do have the tongs here. There are a pair that are included in the set. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pick each item up with the tongs. I'm going to move them out of the way so we can compare the different options.
Let's take a look at the first two food items. So we have the corn. This is the one that was added to the grill and the one over on the other side was the one I left out on the plate. And you can see there is quite a difference between the two. You can see the grill marks are on the top of this one while this one doesn't have any. And if this food is styled the same as the one that's a part of the kitchen set, after a while it should start to fade so you can repeat the process over and over again. So here we have the next two food options. The first one was the one added to the plate and this one was the one from the grill and you can see that there are some slight differences but it's not major compared to the corn. That one was definitely very obvious. This one was a lot harder to tell so I would say this one didn't work as well as the original one. And the last two food options we have here are the tamales. There's a total of two. This one was the one I added to the grill, and this one was the one I left out on the plate. You can still see the lines on the one that I added to the plate, but the one I added to the grill is definitely a lot more defined and clearer, and you can see that it looks like it has been cooked. So I would say the one that worked the best was definitely the corn, and then I would say the kebab was the one that worked the least, and then this one is somewhere in between. I'm going to show you a clearer image of what the light looks like when the lid closes on the grill so when you shut it slightly it does start to switch on and you can see those lights are on the top they're a purple blue color there are lights throughout the grill so you can have it either in the middle or you can have the food over to the side and it still should be able to work and when the lid starts to close the light goes directly onto the grill part of the set and I'm just going to add the food to see if it works even when it's not completely closed and it does seem like the interactive feature is working even when I hold the lid like so because the light is still on top of it. Of course, to get the full effect, you should close the lid, but it's interesting to see that it works the other way as well. And here we have the food completely finished and the grill marks are on the top. Overall, I would definitely recommend this set. I love how interactive it is and the items are really realistic as well. This set is called Maryland Seaside Diner Bakery Case and there's a photo on the front of the box to give an overview of the different items. Mary Ellen is a historical character from the year 1954 so this is a historical accessory set. So let's open it up. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the items a part of the set. So first off there are two trays and these items are great in order to display some of the food items available at the diner. I just have this one flipped upside down so you're able to see the detail in the back. There are a total of two types of pie, cherry pie and blueberry pie. So this one here is the cherry pie. You can see it's a bright red color. There is a classic crisscross pattern at the top and you can see some of the cherry over the top here as well. There's also a separate slice included in the set. This is the same for the blueberry pie. There's some whipped cream attached to the side. But I wouldn't recommend this if you wanted to complete the pie because if you place it here, it doesn't look like a completed set. This slice looks a lot larger than the rest of the pie itself but I do really like how you can have a separate piece that you can place down on a plate. And of course, I can't forget to show you the blueberry pie itself. I do have to say the quality for both of these items are really great, even though they are made out of plastic, they are quite heavy, so they're really good quality. You can see the chunks of blueberry inside, and that was the same for the cherry as well. So you have the main part of the pie over on this side, and then the separate slice here with, of course, the whipped cream. As I said before, you can't really attach this to make it a completed pie. It's still missing quite a bit, but I do really like how they have that separate piece to place it down on the plate. There is a set of donuts, a part of the set. There are a total of six. They're all styled a little bit different. So over here, we have vanilla and chocolate icing on the donuts. This is what it looks like on the back, but there's no hole in the middle. While these ones do have a hole, there are a total of three of those. There are a lot more brighter colors in that one as it includes pink and blue. On the packaging, it says that these two items are called sweet rolls. They do look very realistic and so delicious. So you can see there's icing just melting off the bottom. And I just really like the detail of how it looks like it's dripping down. And you can see that they're all different layers as well. This one's a lot lower than this one up here. You can see it's a classic roll effect and that's what it looks like on the top. Of course, it is made out of plastic, but it's still quite heavy. There are a total of three bakery boxes and there's such a gorgeous salmon pink color to match that teal and pink theme with the rest of the items. And they're made out of paper. In case if you're wondering, they're very lightweight. So this is what the bath looks like. It's just completely plain. And then here's the front. It says Seaside Diner, enjoy the delicious bakery. So you can take away some baked goods. This is what it looks like inside. There's plenty of room to take away some of the baked goods. So here I have one of the slices of the pie inside the box. There is money included in the set since of course it does come with a register. There are a total of five coins and they're all dimes. It does say coffee written on the front since it is not meant to be real money of course. And then there are a total of 15 one dollar bills as well. They're made out of paper again but it does look very realistic so that's what it looks like at the front and then that's what it looks like over at the back. 
And then there's also this tin that says fight polio on it. It is very heavy compared to some of the other items in the set. You can remove the lid to take the coins out. Go ahead and place that down like so, and you can add the coins in if you'd like. So I'm going to go ahead and place that down. And then when that's all finished, you can remove the lid and you can take them out. The quality of these items are so realistic. So there are two pie trays and two plates. The plates do look very familiar as they're also included in the Seaside Diner. That design is the same. And you can hear it's definitely not made with plastic. It's quite heavy, but that also means it is breakable as well. Then there are also two pie trays and you can hear the quality is really great with that too. That's also quite a heavy piece as well. So just to give you an idea of the sizing, here's the cherry pie, and then the blueberry pie goes like so. You can see that there's a significant gap there, which is perfectly fine, because we have those extra slices there. And these two pieces do fit really nicely on the plates as well. And of course, you can't have a diner without a menu, so you know what's for sale. So the menu is double-sided with the exact same writing on both sides. There's pancakes, there's also sausage, and there's just some classic breakfast items you'd find at a local diner. Then here we have a newspaper, and it's really interesting because you can see what the news was about back in the 1950s. And the headline says, Vaccine on the Way to Doctors, and it's the Daytona Beach Morning Journal. So it's really interesting. Go ahead and read that, and the detail is so realistic as well it does look like a classic newspaper with images and writing on the side too there's also a paper hat that says seaside diner on the front and there's a sheet of stickers so you're able to personalize the set itself and in order to serve the pie there is a pie slicer it is very realistic and really great quality and then the last item here is the register and this has to be my favorite item in the set due to the amount of detail is included in it even though it doesn't include batteries or anything it is still really great and definitely perfect for an item back in the 1950s so you can see it's this classic brown yellow color it says out of key lime pie donuts were two for 15 cents i wish they were two for 15 cents these days they're definitely not and it says service with a smile which is a really great note to add on the side so you can see it says zero 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 there and when you press this button it changes to one two three four five and then it goes back to zero and then over here it changes to five ten twenty five fifty seventy five and then zero so you can Go ahead and count out how much everything costs, and let's say it is $2.50. And then you'll open up the register, and then you can take the coins and the notes out. So let's go ahead and take a look at the two main features of the set. There's the register stand and the display case. The display case is a gorgeous teal color. It says American Girl written at the bottom in that classic 50s font. And there's also a plastic cover over the top, so nothing can get onto the food like bugs or dust or dirt or anything like that. There are a total of two shelving units, so you're able to display everything, which is really great. Over here in the register stand, you'll place the register on the top, and I love this speckled design on the top. It's quite hard to see from over there, but there's salmon and teal speckled on the top, which does give it an extra effect. It's teal on the side to match this item, and there are two more shelving units at the bottom. So now it's time to go ahead and set up the set to see if the items do fit on the actual display case and also the register stand as well and to give an overview of how the set looks once it's completely organized. So I've turned the display case over so I'm able to display the items like so. So I have the two pie trays here ready to go. I'm going to place that on the top level or the middle level because the top level is right above here. But we're going to go ahead and set that up first. Both of those do fit really nicely across that level. And then as for the second level, we'll be placing those larger trays down. So we have one of the sweet rolls, one of the pie slices, and a donut. And then over on the other side, we have more of those donuts to choose from. So we have the pink, the blue, then the chocolate and vanilla icing as well. So we'll place those like so. Both of those trays do fit really nicely at the bottom as well. And it displays quite a bit of food too. So let's go ahead and twist this around. And that's what the set looks like. I'll just push everything a little bit more forward so we can see it. And then as for this top shelf, I'll add one of the sweet rolls and I have one of those pie slicers here. And then a box as if it looks like they're just about to get it to go. And then as for the register stand, the first item will be of course the register. I've already placed the notes and then the coins there. And then here we have another plate with a donut. I'll place that down there and I'll push it right to the back so there's enough room to place the tin at the front. So that's definitely the first shelf completely filled. I'll just move it over so everything does fit. The, all these items do fit really nicely, which is really great to see. 
So right underneath, I'm going to be having the menus like so, so people can go ahead and grab those if they'd like to see what to order and what's available at the diner. And then, of course, the newspapers can go right next to that. And I'll place those down like so. And then as for the last shelf, we have some of those takeout boxes. Obviously, that's not for the customers. That's more for the people working there serving. I'm just going to place them like that. And then I'll have the other one just tilted to the side. And hopefully, it does stay up. There we go. And it seems like the whole bakery is completely set up. Overall, I would definitely recommend the set. It comes with some really great food items. The quality is really great and there's so much detail to it as well. It's really great how the different shelving units and the bakery case displays all of the food items so you're able to see everything available. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I really hope you guys enjoyed it.